All right, so next we're gonna hit tricep bench. All right, so the bench, not only are you gonna be hitting the tricep muscle, but truthfully, you're gonna be getting a little bit of that inner chest as well, okay? So with this one, you know, you don't want wide, you don't want together, you want shoulder width, all right? So, the other thing I can't stress too is make sure your feet are planted, all right? Don't put them up on the bench. You're losing your base, okay? So, good shoulder width for me is right here, okay? So fingers right at the rings of the smooth to the grip. So then you're just gonna keep elbows tight, all the way down, up, 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 okay? Get that good squeeze at the top, keeping those elbows in tight, got it? And again, no feet on the bench. All right, you're losing your base. Um, people say that it involves core, this, that, and the other, but overall, you get you get a lot of your power from the bottom portion. Because remember, the bottom portion from here to here is back, from here to here is chest. So, I mean, it still works that way, even though it's a chest press or a tricep press, excuse me. So from here to here, it's still your back with tricep engaged. Then here to here, you're engaging double the tricep. If you start putting feet up here, you're losing that base. And you're losing 90% of that, that strength with that. And then it's just, you know, people be like, oh, well, that just engages more of the muscle. Well, okay, and then you're gonna risk double the injury. So keep your base, keep your feet planted and press, all right?